42 dark type beat. It was episode 41. 41. It's raining outside. It's pouring outside. These haters are snoring outside of an Apple podcast, Spotify, YouTube, we're everywhere. I don't care what you say, I got ingrown hair. I'm about to pop this shit before I do it, don't own Care Bear. It's purple and it's paint like a damn Care Bear. But I don't want the honey because it might be a Hiroshima victim that can. <laughs> Hiroshima and Nakasaki, they all got bombs. But we didn't because we're the Americans, bitch. <laughs> we're the Americans, bitch. We don't get bombs, but we drop the bombs, bitch. We're Americans, we don't get bombed, we drop the bombs on you, bitch. Hiroshima, Hiroshima, Nagasaki, Nagasaki, New York, New York, Indiana, Indiana. <laughs> Wait, are you trying to throw the beat to me? Yeah. Oh, no, I'm not going to pick this out, no. dude. I can't rap pick shit. Pick my nose, pick my beat, eat my meat, run I'm down the street. Oh. There you go. I, I would end it right there, man. <laughs> wow. I just good. see, like, you tried to throw it to me, and I wasn't, I saw it in the side eye, I wasn't going to pick it up. That was a t- uh, that was probably my worst freestyle of all time. That's okay. You're playing injured right now. I am playing. I am <laughs> literally Carson Bentz playing injured right now for two reasons. One, I'm a Christian quarterback, <laughs> and two, I have an ingrown hair above my dick right now, and it's purple. It's gonna pop tonight or tomorrow morning, and it's like Hiroshima, like I you sh- said. It's gonna blow up like Hiroshima. Yeah. And I, sh- I showed you the ingrown hair before the show started. You did show me the ingrown hair before you started. I mean, it was worth it. I mean, it wasn't the worst I've ever seen, but like it looked painful. It wasn't the worst? No, I mean, you're going to live. It's going to be okay. Unfortunately. But yeah, no, you're definitely down one leg. I'm down one leg and still down $8,400. It's still down $8,400. And I'm sure there's a little bit of panic somewhere in there. There's panic everywhere. Yeah. I up. This is That Boy Ben, episode 41 with Derek... Derek hey. James. Yeah, I know. It's the name. We are presented by Be The Haas. Be The Haas Chicago Clothing Company. It's the best Chicago clothing company in Chicago and in the country. You can use the code BENT for 23% off. This podcast is now presented by Better Than Vegas. My videos are now going on the website. They're a sports gambling company where you can create your own gambling pits, build a platform, get data following. Derek James in the house. Hey, what's like up? Say, if you know Ben, Poli- if you know a Ben Pulitzer Poli- stand-up shows, you might have seen him around. Yeah, Ben sure. takes me around. He he, uh, I follow him everywhere. Even on Instagram. Even on Instagram, wow. all platforms. Twitter. What's you- the other one? TikTok. What's the other one? <laughs> uh, Visco. Visco. Yeah, ben, you know. Yeah, Ben had a Visco. What would he post? Uh, I actually am not that familiar with Visco. It's an app where you let others know you're a whore. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh okay. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. This would be his entire content right oh, here. Absolutely. I have that backpack, that can- uh, Kankin backpack. So. Huh. Yeah, this is the content that people want. They want to know what kind of backpack I, she I rock. Is, she's got her body count is definitely above thirteen. Absolutely. You think above thirteen? I've never met a Visto girl that's not a good girl. Now, would you? <laughs> could you set up a a sports gambling website on Visco girls? Like it's Ooh, you, you just like, bet the over under on their body count. That'd be a great. That's what you do with better than they just just find girls that have the Visto link in their bio and just what is their over and under set it and then just try and like investigate work and DM them. Hey, just out of right. curiosity. I don't know what a parlay is, but I'm sure you can just throw a parlay in there. Like a what? Like that she has? Yeah, that she's got like one of those water bottles, <laughs> and then you can parlay it into how many sets of checkered vans does she have, and then do all of her T-shirts cover up her shorts so it looks like she's not wearing any pants nothing sluttier than a sorority water bottle right with 25 stickers on it i have a sticker for every guy that i blew and becoming a visco girl oh all right step one t- tell your dad you don't love him <laughs> step, step two go out every <laughs> single <laughs> night <laughs> yeah <laughs> step three get on the road and fuck yourself step four just post everything on the internet everything if you have be a good human or be a nice person in your bio, you're actually a, you're not even a slut. You're just a tra- crazy chaotic cunt. C- <laughs> that, C- that felt personal. It, it is. Okay. <laughs> uh, that shout, felt- out, shout out Ashton. This one girl. <laughs> she has a fucking, she's a fucking be nice human in her bio. That bitch flout chased me last summer. She ignored me when I saw her in person three weeks ago. Fuck her. Uh, dude, you not that might be <laughs> not Ashton Kutcher. Like Ash, actually, so the, Ashton. Actually, the K is the last name. Ashton, too, but okay, not, not Ashton Kutcher. He's, cool. <laughs> He's a Christian man who loves God at Yahoo. <laughs> I felt that one. Yeah, yeah, that was that felt like it was more painful than the ingrown hair that you got rocking <laughs> right is. now. <laughs> it is more painful. You, is there any other part of her Instagram that you <laughs> want to point out? It's just the be a nice human bio. Right. They're never nice humans if you have that. They're never kind people. They're just crazy, chaotic, 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 
chaotic. chaotic. Crazy chaotic cunts. Okay, there you yeah. go. Yeah. Yeah. I was an online general studies major. Oh, were you? So yeah, so you don't talk much? No. <laughs> <laughs> I was in the FAP classes to clean the locker rooms and <laughs> taking the trash out. I got called radio. I was a football manager in high school. They called me radio. Oh, no. Light radio. <laughs> yeah, hey, Austin, go in the volleyball locker room and go do the laundry for the girls. You're like, go say hi. Chibra, you didn't Chibra. act like you were radio, did you? It depends what I wanted. <laughs> oh, Chibra no. Ben, Chibra Ben Jr. That it's is a, a good movie, though. It's a great movie. There I am. There you are. Carson Benz. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I, the kids can be mean. They can be mean. They tell the truth here and there. You know, like, I, I get it. Like, uh, I played football, and I had, well, I still do, have really big nipples and if you're a fat can we, can kid what can we see oh, man everybody asks I showed, you my own gro- I showed you my ingrown hair i mean they're just i mean they're like oh know. my god why am i doing this boys and girls I if you're just, under 13 they're just, they're just big. Oh, it's the size of my ingrown hair damn near i know right if y'all are trying to imagine what ingrown hair is that nipple right there is what it is if you're a fat kid on the football team in eighth grade and you got big nipples it's they're relentless they're big they're puffy and sometimes when they're hard i think a blind person could read them like braille hard <laughs> Oh, I love that word. How old are you? I'm 30, bro. I remember when I, I think I said, you, you test me something and you said, all right, bet. Or as a kid say these days, bet. So I was like, how old are you? Yeah, no, I can't. Like, I will under, like, you're, you're what, 23? 20, I just turned 25. You're just 20, 25? Okay, you're still yeah. in there. You're about like five years away from getting phased out of, of slang. Oh, don't tell me that. Like, it's crazy. I'm still back in 2009. What did we say in 2009? That was lit? Like, no, that was, I think lit was 20. 18? Dude, Happen. I'll never forget when I first figured out what the word finna was. Ha! <laughs> I call my friend finna. I had these friends. They're from the south side of Chicago when I was at Purdue and I was there. I slipped it in in front of my mom. I was like, Mom, you finna put that money in my account? And then all of them lost their shit. They're like, if I would have said that to my fucking mom, she would have beat the shit out of me. <laughs> I was like, well, I thought it fit there. She's like, He's like, no. <laughs> like, that's, that's so disrespectful. There was a kid in high school, rest in peace, Montel Hansen. They called him Montel Finna Hansen. He, yeah. he didn't have a middle name called Finna. Yeah. Finna. Finna. Ma, you finna put that money in my account? And I, dude, my friend lost his shit. He, his name was Pierre. He's just fucking like, I cannot believe you just told your mom hey, to Pierre, you finna to put some money in your account. But yeah, yeah. I'm finna about the... About the yeah. Finna, 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 Bet. About the, dude, bet. You're, you're like, when you said slime, I'm like... <sighs> Don't know that one. I said that eight times a day. Slime. So you know twin? No, dude. Twin is your best friend that you would do anything for. You're your lover, but you're not, you're not like you're not blood related. You're not blood. Yeah. yeah. Like me uh, and Ben are twins. Okay. Yeah, I get it. Well, they call, they call me and Ben the twin towers. If one goes down, so does the other. <laughs> oh, well, In college, all the inclinations of bro were going big, like. Brochacho, Brosif, like it was so fucking stupid. Teddy Broski. Teddy Broski, Teddy yeah, that was the yeah. he, like that was the big shit back when Chant I was. Brosius. <laughs> so you know all of them, yeah. don't you? Remember, speaking of being young and happy, remember in junior high when did you guys have the spread the word, the end the word little campaign? No. So there's this big ass poster is that Riverside Junior High. There's big ass poster the, the lanes from the cafeteria wall to the bathroom. You would pretty much sign your name on it. That you would never say the the R word the like, R- oh R- yeah E T A R D ever again in your life. My generation is the reason why this campaign was created. Back in the day, that word was thrown around very loosely, and that's why this campaign exists. I'm not saying it's a good word. I'm just saying that myself and many others signed it, and I'm very confident to say that me, myself and others might say it still. <laughs> yeah, you did, you're not hold, held to this contract, are you? No, we did. If they no. came back and they're like, "You broke this contract," you'd be like, "Yes, I have no." It does not hold up in court. But then again, did Dare work out for anyone? No. Did Dare work out? No. <laughs> oh, useless back in the day. Sex ed or what was it? Uh, Dude, creating CPR. positive relationships. Yeah. CPR. That was right. Yeah. These are old failed campaigns. I'll never forget. Our teacher was like, do you know what CPR stands for? And this kid who had been a lifeguard all summer goes, it stands for cardiopulmonary resuscitation. She goes, nope, that's the other one. And all of us were like, what the fuck? There are two of these things. And then she told us it stands for creating positive relationships, but I don't want you thinking that this course isn't as important as the other one. And all of us were like, that's bullshit. You know, like nobody's ever been dying on the ground and been like, "Ah, but not until marriage, you know, like I saw a TikTok where some Kid was like, you know how they on college campuses there's that crazy lady that's always preaching. Oh god. Yeah. Paid the paid actress. Yeah. 
Is she a paid actress? You have to be. Oh, I know, right? But he, like, he stands up next to her and he's like, "If you never get married, it's not premarital sex." And like, I was like, "Oh, that holds up in court, man. That's it does. that's true, you know." Anyway, the most successful champagne growing up, Modern Warfare Two. I never killed anyone after playing that. I had, I had a good life. Any car champagne was a great campaign compared to like CPR and Dare. And right, that. you're saying that that because you played this game, you Probably got it, you got it all out of your system, yeah. so you didn't kill anybody. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, that it worked. I got I, like don't go to war. You know, like the whole thing is is like I wonder if Call of Duty Modern Warfare Two, like we played a bunch of it and we were like, nah, we get it, we're good, and then. That's why nobody signed up for the military. He's like, no, nah, no, nah, we understand it. Like, we got our, we got our taste. We don't need to go sign up for the army. But then Modern Warfare Three came out. They started doing all these ROTC heads coming in. Really? Yeah. The real war heroes. God bless. Right. My Damn. roommate was an ROTC. We told him GI Joe. He was like, he was like five five. He ran a mile once a week and served his country. They'd always wake up and be running, and I'm just like, they're like, do you want to join ROTC? I'm like, no, man. I'm hung over right now. <laughs> why would I want to be anywhere? Why would I just want to be running at 4 a.m.? Dude, the IPY ROTC did like this thing called Camp Atterbury. They took a fucking Blackhawk from the middle of campus, like in front of, middle of all these classes. I'd fly 25 minutes to go to a camp for one night. Purple Heart veterans. Oh my god, it's <laughs> unreal. Shout out Drake Erpenbach, my ROTC roommate who dropped out and joined Teeth the Frat to smoke weed every day. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out Drake Erpenbach. Well, I mean, at least he dipped his toe in it and said it wasn't for him. Yeah. Because if oh. you sign up, like I think if you sign up, they actually have you for four years. So. Yeah. Well, you can decommit from your country. Uh, can like, you? Oh yeah. He 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 dropped out like eight months. Join the frat. Well, what I'm saying is, is like, isn't ROTC fake, like fake army? Like, it's just like to make sure like you want to try to do it. It's fake army. It's just like, all right, this is kind of what it would be like if this is not for you. I wouldn't sign up for the real thing. It's like Instagram people who have a, like, a Bible verse in their bio, but they drink and smoke on the weekends. That's to do fake Christians. Are you talking about Ashen again? Yes. I am <laughs> talking about Ashen again. How would you know? I can see <laughs> and it in every your other eyes. Hell I see the pain in your eyes, man. Like. The that, anger. Yes. Oh, it, it was a bad day to bring up Ashton with the grown, ingrown hair. Terrible day. <laughs> That's like the devil and fucking uh, O.J. Simpson combined. Damn, dude. Just two murderers. Just both taking you down. One, one I going. Fuck, I fuck with them though, but there's there's bad people, you know. Yeah. Yeah. O.J.'s a great running back. Okay. Yeah. Just bad people. They're bad people. Speaking of that, we got a sponsor. <laughs> DoorDash. <laughs> you hungry? Don't want to go out? It's raining outside? Don't leave up. Give me a call. I might be there. <laughs> so, DoorDash. Fucking bowling ball in there. <laughs> every week, we play a game called What's in the Bag. Okay. Brought to you by DoorDash, my former job. We got two items in here. I'm just going to open it for you. You're going to reach in. Yeah. See what we got. It's a fucking bowling ball, dude. It's just, if there's a fucking live chicken in here. Did you imagine? Dude, that'd be wild. You can go for it. All right. All right, I kind of I get what this is. Do I do I pull it out? Yeah. All right. Well, that's whey protein. All right. Yeah. And then uh, it's not just whey protein. It is. Oh shit! It is <laughs> Self Evolve Protein, my newest sponsor. You go to selfevolve.com. They got protein. They got. You can turn that bitch down a little bit, Malik. <laughs> my man. They got protein powders. They got pre-workout. They got vitamin. They got everything you need for a healthy body. Honestly, if you want to be like, you want to be like me. <laughs> if you want, if you want an ingrown hair above your groin. <laughs> Damn. <dude. laughs> Go to selfevolve.com. Use code Bent for free shipping. What are the pros and cons of being named Derek? Well, here's the thing. It's an easy name to say. The con is like Derek Henry's D E R R I C K. I'm D E R E K. That's Dirt Rick. Which is Derek. not like an actually real Derek. Oh, Derek G. There's a show named after you. It's a show about a special needs guy who works at a retirement home. Which yeah, it is sounds fits. like my life in 30 years. Exactly. I mean, Derek Jeter's, I think, the best Derek. Every like. That's literally me in 30 years. Go, uh, top right. That's yeah, literally me. It's a great show. I actually have seen it. And I'm glad my name is on it. Oh, we got Derek Jeter. Derek Carr, Christian quarterback. Another Christian quarterback. Mm. Can we talk about that? Let's like, talk about it. Why is every white pocket quarterback playing football for Jesus? Philip Rivers. Tim Tebow. Tim Tebow. Derek Carson Carr. Wentz. Carson Wentz. The only two outliers are Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> it's all the mid-range quarterbacks. All of them. <laughs> yeah. It's like you got You either got to be an out-of-pocket quarterback or sell your soul to the devil to, <laughs> to be successful. If you don't think Tom Brady is not atheist, you're, you're wrong. That's like Matt Stafford. Like Matt Stafford probably Kirk was like... Cousins. Kirk Cousins. Matt Stafford was like, the devil came to him and he was like, well, you, I'll get you a trade. I'll get you to Los Angeles. 
but you know you got to fork over that soul. LA and, is hell. Right, and, and Matt Stafford was like, get me the fuck out of here. I'm tired of playing hey, look for the Lions. I'll give you my soul and my left nut if you get me to fucking LA. <laughs> and look how good he is now. Trevor Lawrence is Dabby. Tre- Trevor Lawrence, full-on Christian quarterback. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And look, look what happened. He went to the Jags. That's on him. Yeah. If you want to be a mid-range pocket quarterback in the NFL, you got to love Chick-fil-A. Just believe in God. And just believe in God. Just do it for the Lord. I should have said it better. Yeah. My God. Yeah. We need more atheist quarterbacks. There's got to be one out there. No one's like, it's got to be Brady. He never expresses anything. No, yeah. Brady, I'm, that dude drinks baby blood. How does his jawline get better? If you could fuck one quarterback, who would it be? Oh, one quarterback? Yeah, not, not even like Joe Namath. Oh, just, just, fuck just, in, in, just in general? Yeah. Joe Namath, for sure. I mean, I, dude, the dude's cool as fuck. I'd probably go Jamarcus Russell. Really? Thick. Thick? Thick. <laughs> Christ. You should tweet that to him. Russell, man. Hey, at Jamarcus, bro. So <laughs> on my hey, podcast, man. we asked who, if we choose one quarter about the fuck, and I chose you. Like, Keep grinding, man. Keep doing your thing. <laughs> you would fuck one quarterback. Just shoot me a DM. We'll talk about it next week. Hoss here. Hey, Hoss. I got a date tonight with a girl. I don't know what to do, what to wear. Hold on. You got a date tonight? Yeah, she's hot. Kind of bent, too. All right, man. Stay right there. I'll be right over. Hey, Hoss. Bro, you can't go out looking like that. Why not? <laughs> Use code BENT for 23% off your order at BeTheHoss.com. Be the Hoss. <laughs> the official sponsor of That Boy Ben Podcast. Today is a one month anniversary of me getting head for the first time. Yeah, and then you got a, and then you got this ingrown, uh, well, let's clap for that. Yeah. Yes, uh, good job. Yes, yes. Thank you. 9 11, never forget. Never forget. Never forget. Uh, never forget. Uh, but then, yeah, the ingrown hair to celebrate. Yeah, that that is not from head. But do you think do you think that it's the universe saying, "Hey, man, like, do you regret it?" I'm pretty sure I got it from my flashlight. I thought I cleaned it all the way before I used it. <laughs> Evidently not. So what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna wait for this thing to go away, order a new one, and get back to, get back on track. Dude, uh, you have to order a whole new one if you don't clean it. I never I probably, I never fucked a flashlight before. I probably you're missing out. I probably should at this point. It's really? Like, it's just been. I mean, like it's like <laughs> it's like a pair of running shoes. Like after a year, you got you got to switch them out. Pert and ear. I think the bad thing. I don't know if it's been a year with this one. I, this is my third one right now. The first one I fucked up. <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> first one I got like, mold on the bottles, but the queen it for four months. I left it in New York when, when I came back from COVID. The second one just literally <laughs> sucked. It wasn't. Like, it sucked, but it wasn't good. Like it wasn't a good. It was like, like a night. I, I call it fleshy. It was like. Mm. Yeah. Do you name them? Yeah, I miss, we had Mrs. Pussy Lips, okay, fleshy, and then Mrs. Pussy Lips 2.0. Okay, so you got a new Mrs. You yeah. said Mrs. Fleshy. So this, well, I'm on Mrs. Pussy Lips. Mrs. 2. Pussy 0. Lips. Okay. I think the next one I might buy the Lisa Ann one. Show some support. I haven't talked to her in a while. Are you gonna DM her and just are you, Are you gonna send her a picture of you holding it? I probably tweet to it her. out. But I just got the new Lisa Ann flashlight. How there you go. Yeah, she'll love it. She'll, she'll, oh, thanks. Hey, you're our bet. You're like two weeks away from being right back on top. Like I, I can see it. <laughs> Need that. It's your Jordan game right now. You this know, is. You're, you're gonna. What are we at? Thirty minutes in, you're gonna like light it up in the back. I half. hope it pops during the show. I will Dude, show it. I will show it. You'll show it right up at the camera. I will show it. I'll blow oh, it up. Okay. I will show it. Damn it. Can you feel it bubbling up? It's getting more hurtful and hurtful, which means it's about to pop. <laughs> That's a good thing, though. Yeah. Video and send it to Ashton. That, that'll win her back. Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'll, that'll, that'll be the one. That'll win her back. I haven't <laughs> talked in a while, so just want to show you something. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I know we haven't. I know we haven't talked in a while, but okay. I got something to show you. I think you'll like it. I put it on TikTok. This reminds me. This reminds me of your personality. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> God. Actually, I have no beef with you, but you, I mean, my but. boy, my boy is is like you know, you broke his heart. Man, it's just one of the many. One of the many. Just gotta keep grinding. I have to keep grinding. Keep grinding. The only way to grind is a mate with Mantis. So Derek James, Dude, you're dirty. Know. You got a girlfriend. God. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. I'm assuming that you've been through the rainer here and there. Yeah. I'm 25 now. I, I've got head twice in my life. Good. I've made out with four girls. Good. I've kissed a porn star. Yeah. Haven't ate pussy yet. Yeah. Almost. I did the whole like rub the ham and all that. Oh, stuff. did you sniff it? 
No, she had, I, I was in the CPR, the underwear zone. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're I in was, the underwear I zone. I was in the underwear zone. Okay, good. But you know. Hi. <laughs> yes, sir. Carson and Betts, baby. <laughs> Game day. He goes, I've been in the underwear zone, too. All right. <laughs> yeah, he's like, yeah. <laughs> I'm a virgin, too. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> well, <laughs> how does one have sex? How does one get to that point of hitting a home run? Well, consensually is first. Like Absolutely. you got to put that out there. Um, but I was telling, I was telling Ben this today. All right, look, both of us, you know, is Ben still a virgin? No, but this is how you got to do it. All right, because like both of us are not like Ben Polizzi, where it's he's blessed. God gifted, yeah. Yeah, God gifted. Like, Fuck so you got to come up with something. You're pretty close. You're funny, right? Like me, I'm like I. That's what I put all my eggs in that basket. I said, I'm going to try to be funny because I can't dance. I can't rap. I'm not good looking. And I'm not athletic. Like, I'm like, okay. Like, I mean, I can hit a baseball, but I can't hit a baseball far. Right? Contact. Contact. I make contact. And I'm slow as shit, so I can't beat it out. You oh, know? That was a great I know. There, there you go. Right I was setting you up for it. Uh, yeah. You, you just got to kill. You just got to lean on your personality, man. I wouldn't bring up the ingrown hair. Yeah. Like, I mean, like, here's the thing. I wouldn't I wouldn't bring up your stat sheet, all right? <laughs> Don't bring up your stat sheet. And then I wouldn't bring up the ingrown hair f- from your fleshlight. Yeah. That, that, I mean, that's setting you well, back. That's my guess. That should come from just being alive. It should come from, you know, what I ate. But I think it's a, I have a good feeling. It should have been from the... Yeah, ingrown. from the dirty fleshlight. Because here's the thing. It's not the fact that you stuck your penis in a fleshlight. It's the fact that you didn't clean your fleshlight. And women like a tidy man. That's true. Like, I don't want to, like, you can go in there. It doesn't matter. Like, you, you can clean your apartment. You can be tidy. And, like, she'll just walk in. She'll know. It's just like, that's a dirty flashlight. And then she'll just be like, I, uh, like, what? Are you, he can't support me. <laughs> you know, like, what? This is, this is going to be our oh, life baby, together? Baby, when I have to spend 8400 on a head, I can support you. You don't <laughs> even worry about money. <laughs> yeah. Funny you said about, um, like, when I, I don't bring up stats or whatever. Like, uh, when I went, when that girl from Vegas uh, sucked the soul out of me. She was like, what's that stuff like above your dick? And I was like, oh, it's just I had hernias back in the day, which I did. Yeah. But it was a little bit of acne above. Yeah. I, I just have bad acne. That's in general. I, I'm on Accutane, which is a drug that clears acne. So I have chapped lips. Yeah. And I got like all this dry hair. But uh, it's, we just we just can't get the bushes downstairs all fixed up. The back looks great. Well, <laughs> the back acne looks great. The back's fucking demented. With the uh, <laughs> neck's getting a little better, but it's just this... Fucking, it's like a, um, oh, it's not herpes. It's not any of that. It's just like, is it just like, does it look like mashed potatoes down there? Is that what it is? Like, no, it's like, uh, I'm really trying to think of what it looks like. Hmm. You know, you just got like, you know, you just, just talk, just say the birthmarks. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Girls believe anything. <laughs> right. <laughs> Tell you guys, but that's tip. what I'm saying. Just don't leave. I mean, like, just I lie. They'll believe it. Yeah. I mean, either, I just wouldn't lead with your stat sheet. I'd just be like, you know, like, I wouldn't be like, I almost sniffed a pussy once. You know, like, yeah. I would just be like, you know, like, I've been down there, you know, and you got you just say, hey, look, I'm open for suggestions. I took the courses. Yeah, you took the courses. You know, I've I done the, I've done the research. Research. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've read the studies, you know. Some Indian shit, research. Yeah. Research Re- paper. Yeah. Tell me you're from Greenwood without telling me you're from Greenwood. Research. Search. Or Elkhart, even better. Research. That doesn't sound as good. Research, research. sounds more, That's like a more research. educated. Research. Yeah, I mean, just... Research and destroy. <laughs> if she ever says top, I would only do that at least three times in the night. Just, just not every times. single time. If she says, like, out of my head or, like, oh, that guy's on top, just, like, motion it, like... Well, you do it like, do it once or twice to yeah. let him know, just let her know, like, hey, this is what you're in for. This is the yeah. guy that I am. But wouldn't do it every single time. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, dude, it's, quit aiming that thing at me. I'm sorry. I, I, I just gotta I, move the legs because I know. But you're like, you're like, it's about to erupt like a volcano, and then you're Open pointing it <laughs> right now my face. Where's the worst place you've had a zit on? In between the lip and the skin, like right on that edge. That's the one that hurts the most. That's the worst for you. Yeah, dude. I didn't. I get, wish that was the worst for me. Dude, I didn't get acne, man. I have not experienced your pain. I don't know I will. I've had, <laughs> you know what it's like being a white d- disabled man? <laughs> no, I have no idea. It's actually kind of nice. 
That's your kind of nice. You did. Do you, you know how many people. free passes I get? <laughs> like, do you realize that I just said I fucked my flat flashlight and got a fucking ingrown hair? Do you, the only reason I can do that is because I'm a white disabled man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I want to make a song about that white disabled man. It's like people are asking, me, would you rather like, would you want me and LeBron for a day? I'm like, hell not. Me and LeBron kind of relate. Me and LeBron, we both get great parking up front. Yeah. We just skip lines. Right. You know, practically, we, we, we both know how to ball in our own way. But you know what LeBron can do that I can do? What? Shoot up schools. Oh, my God. So I'm, I have mental health. I'm mentally disabled. I'm a... <laughs> That's, you're, sorry, you're, Le, sorry, LeBron. You can't have everything. I don't mean I don't mean to I don't mean to take away from your disability, but you're barely physically disabled, <laughs> and you're barely. no, and you're not you're not even you're not mentally disabled. Maybe I am mentally now. Shit. <laughs> give me give me all the disabilities. I want all the access. Damn, you want oh yeah. Give you me want, the Applebee's birthday dinner. Come on. <laughs> You're like, just give me the wish. Like, <laughs> like, give me the like, wish. Like, I don't know what I have, but like, make my wish happen. <laughs> Let me meet LeBron and Drake. <laughs> Either or. Dude, yeah, you aged out of your wish, man. I don't know. They're not going to give a 25 year old man a wish. Oh, not when you can shoot up a stool. <laughs> oh, my God. Did you that. keep saying that? Wow. <laughs> Why would I do that? <laughs> <laughs> Ashton. Oh, you know what? <laughs> Yeah, it's crazy how I... No, I'm not saying it. <laughs> 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 All right, we're going... <laughs> you know the bar set when I said it. Right, That's how you exactly. know it's bad. 11 things you may not know about Major Wish. Let's just read it. If you are on YouTube, you should be on YouTube. If, uh, we are now looking at 11 things you may not know about a Major Wish. Can I tell a story about a Major Wish? One oh, time, yeah. uh, I had a friend. He had a he had a brain tumor in high school. Oh, yeah. And But here's the thing. The, the doctor's like, if you're going to get a brain tumor, this is the brain tumor to get. Um... <laughs> Because we can, you're not gonna die. But Make a Wish was like, was like, hey, do you still want one? And he was like, yeah. And so like, what wish do you want? And then his family's loaded, but his wish was, I want to take a full paid vacation uh, to like Siesta Key. And I was like, what? I was like, wait, can't don't you just do that? Doesn't your family just do that every year? He's like, yeah. He's like, this is paid, like paid for. And I was like, dude, you wasted your wish. He's like, what? And I was like, yeah, you could have wished for anything. He's like, like what? I was like, I don't know, batting practice at Fenway. And he was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> He's like, I did waste my wish. NBA dunk contest? Yeah, fucking meet LeBron. Like, yeah. Oh my God. Fuck Marcus Russell? Like, you went to the beach? Like, I'm, I was like, have you ever been to the beach before? He's like, yeah, all the time. <laughs> Is he doing okay now? Oh, yeah, he's fine. I think okay. he got married, I, too. I hope he, uh, like, no, no, he died. Oh, no, shit. he's dead. He's Whoops. dead as shit. That's Funny you said brain tumor. When I was, before I went to New York in 2018, my little going away weekend, for, when I got hired at Barstool, I was going around brothers and my one of my friends. He didn't tell me. He was telling these two girls that I had a brain tumor and only had a few days left to live. <laughs> this, is, this is back when I was like even skinnier and looked more like <laughs> like autistic. And these girls walked up to me and they're like, can we give you a hug? Oh and I was God. like, uh, all right. And they hugged Dude. me. They're like, how are you? What's your name? I'm like, I'm Austin. It's so nice to meet you, Austin. I'm like, oh, yeah, you want you want a drink? And they started laughing. They're like, you're so funny. Oh, my like, God. My friends are laughing their ass off. I'm like, what the fuck's going on here? That's fucking wild, dude. Shout Man. out to my dog. He had one. I put him down in 2018, two days before Christmas. <laughs> but no, it was fucked up. It that really was <laughs> No, not that. The whole like, brain tumor. Yeah, no, he's fine. Uh, yeah, he said the doctor said, "Yeah, I know you're gonna you're gonna make it, so don't worry too much, but definitely milk that wish." That, that's a. Do you imagine? Oh, I bet if you, I dude, I honestly, you could probably sign up for Make a Wish right now. You could lie about your age and you could lie about your condition, and I bet you could get away with it. Well, the thing about me is, there's no name for us. I can say whatever I want about it. Just no one, there's no like history. There's no documents. Well, I mean, besides my own, but they can, like, I can say it's like fucking whatever disease. I don't think, do they like make you prove it? Are they like, hey, give me a doctor's note? <laughs> like, I mean. I feel like make a wish they would have to do that, that to make you prove it or something. Really? That seems. But for me, it's like, just look at me. <laughs> yeah, like, they're like, Dude, yeah, they're like, hey, they're like, prove it, you just take a selfie. <laughs> like, bro, I'm just like. <laughs> oh, the hair. Oh. Dude, get that shit oh. out of my face. <laughs> My doctor's first words. <laughs> like, oh, God. <laughs> you want to uh, keep it? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> They're no. like, eh, I'm in the trash can, Kobe. <laughs> you know that scene from 300? Oh, my God. Oh they throw the God. baby off the fucking mountain, <laughs> yeah. but he survives <laughs> yeah. and then ends up betraying. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is, that, is that Leonidas? That's the random baby. 
No, that's the hunchback. That's oh my god. <laughs> I knew you were gonna bring that up. My bad. Do people like? Oh, uh, I just call it this. Oh uh, my oh, bad. Well, but no, dude. no, no. But it's like it's facts. Nah, you're good. No, it's facts. I, I I resemble this. I resemble the the inverted hunchback from Notre Dame. The letter S. <laughs> uh, I got a I got a good TikTok slash Instagram video for you. A while back, it was a big trend where that filter that made you like an S, right? You remember that? I don't even need to do. I don't need a filter for that. Yeah, well, you do the filter, right? And then and then you cut it off, and it's yeah. just you, and you're like, "Fuck!" <laughs> I felt. I felt you. Told it me doesn't that. go. It's real. <laughs> is, is that is that filter still there? I'll do it. How crazy know. would that be if it just straightened you out? You know, <laughs> like. <laughs> A TikTok filter changed my life. Yeah, that's, that's you, know how, like, you know how like all the girls, you know how like all the girls uh, are like show that filter. They're just like, this makes me feel sad because yeah. it makes me more beautiful. It's just your filter is that S fucking filter, what the and, fuck? but, and it's straight, and you fucking look like Tom Brady yeah. afterwards. Oh my god, this is what I looked like normally. Holy shit! All these years. Oh god. All right. I've tried. I've tried been getting hit by a bus. I've tried. Those little massage tables I've tried every time. <laughs> right. This I tried that the doctor from fucking um, uh, Doctor Strange that they went to. Yeah. The one that fits him, his hands. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, slime ball? Dude, that'd be hilarious if it straightened you the fuck out and you look like Tom Brady. Oh my god. Bet That's mean. I feel bad for that one. <laughs> bad Brady. <laughs> Number twelve, fuck twelve. I mean, number tw- the number twelve, fuck twelve. Like if you're number twelve, fuck right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just works out both ways. You like you, yeah. You say fuck twelve. You gotta, you right. gotta kind of right. Twelve, you're twelve years younger. Fuck you, right? right. Yeah. I'm, I'm white as it gets, so yeah. you know that when I say fuck twelve, it means Tom Brady. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and when, I, when I say fuck twelve, I mean like fuck, fuck, right. all, fuck all the bars that close at twelve. <laughs> yeah, bet slime. Fuck twelve. <laughs> Fuck 12, let's do 11.45 meeting on Zoom. Like, fuck 12. <laughs> right, yeah. Us white. Just the whitest thing. <laughs> no, I want six fuck 12 donuts. I only got five people with me. Fuck 12. Yeah, fuck, 12. fuck the baker's dozen. <laughs> Give me six. <laughs> oh, shit, that's funny. God, we were so Caucasian, aren't we? Oh, we are, dude. Nothing fuck. better. <laughs> no, <what? laughs> Nothing better. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Disabled Caucasian. Disabled Caucasian. That's the best life. What do you? So you're saying you want me to say that being Caucasian is the best life? No, being disabled Caucasian is the best. Oh life. yeah, I mean, I went to a Jeff Dunham show. Went back when he was like, when, when I thought he was funny, like the whole. <laughs> no, Jeff right Dunham's thing. funny. I mean, puppets are good. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. When you when you have yeah. like, when you before you develop a lot of more brain cells and intelligence, he's yeah. funny. He uh, <laughs> my alcoholic dad. He took me to the show and uh, we were in the middle of a line and I had to pee. So he's like, oh, he's like, no, no, I got you. He grabbed me. He's like, hey, my yeah. son needs to pee. I like, looked at him. <laughs> I'm standing in their bed. They're like, oh, yeah, come on in. I stepped through half the like, 100 people in line. Did your, dad, did, you, is, did your dad use you that card a lot? Like, no, uh, like get su- parking and surprisingly stuff? Surprisingly not, no. Really? He was, uh, well, I hate my dad, first of all. I'll just be straight up with that. I'm sure he's listening to this, too. Damn. But, mm-hmm. damn, son, where'd you find this? <laughs> that was the one great thing about my dad. He got me, like, to a Jeff Dunham show quicker. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Dude, uh, shout out for alcoholic fathers, yeah. Dude, it's, it makes us it makes us crazy. It well, not even crazy, uh, creative. Creative. Mine, mine. Uh, no offense to yours, you, you hate Play it, but mine, mine made the turn. We, you know, he rode around on a scooter in town for a while, but then straightened it out. I back into regular I, car. Man, I wish that happened. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to all the kids who have alcoholic parents. It's not a. It makes you strong. It makes you strong. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it doesn't. It straightens you out metaphorically. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> definitely <laughs> metaphorically. <laughs> well, Jared James, I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I think this episode is fucking great. <laughs> I think you put yourself down too quick. This is fucking I feel phenomenal. So bad. We talked about Major Wish. We talked about white Christian quarterbacks and their non-successful careers. We talked about no. You can have a good career in the NFL, but as a backup or <laughs> like isn't or isn't a, Sorgi, a sports isn't, anchor. Yeah. Or a sports anchor, yeah. yeah. Or a minor league baseball player. Um, Facts. You know, you can have a good, solid. You can put up good numbers. You're not going to make the Hall of Fame. You're, uh, you're not. You might make it to a Super Bowl, but you know, you're not going to win it. No, as you shouldn't. No, you shouldn't. As you shouldn't. You don't deserve it. You know, you're not going to. You're not going to be able to point up and say thank you. Up top. <laughs> yeah. Yo, the big man upstairs, room room five, hallway C, man. Big guy upstairs, man. I thank God, thank God, thank God, man. Shit. 
You feel me? That's impressive. You gonna feel me? Yeah, I feel you. I've I been around you. the locker room here and there. <laughs> I feel like you're, like, you're, like, you're like, I snuck into some locker rooms here and there. <laughs> I, used to, I used to see helicopters back in my day. <laughs> oh, it's game day. Can't wait for the halftime, man. People change. Anyway, bro. We got to thank Be The Haas, our sponsor, main sponsor. Like I said, go to BeTheHaas.com. I'm an ambassador. You got Cameron Crutwood. You got Frank Tanisky, who was in the finals last year on the Suns. You got, who's the other? Oh, Matt Struss. He's on the Miami Heat. We got some athletes, some some pretty uh, some pretty bent people on there, too. Use the code BENT for 23. Not 20, not 21, not 24, 23% off. Like Jordan. This is a Jordan episode, too, with this in-ground hair. <laughs> Perfect timing. You know, you're still you're, tight. You're picking it up in the back end. I, I see it. The only way to evolve is to self-evolve. Use code BENT for free shipping off any products at selfevolve.com. You can ask a lot of hard questions when you're doing stand-up. You gotta be on your game every second. You gotta be quick with it. Right. When you're walking around a grocery store, you can't be hauling out. You gotta be hauling ass when your girlfriend wants something. You can't be spending five minutes finding an apple. You gotta grab that shit and do it home. Yeah. So with this question, none of that made sense, but what made sense is you answering what does bent mean to you? Dude, I get it. Bent is a lifestyle. It's free. It's front row parking. It's your alcoholic father getting you into a Jeff Dunham pu- concert slash show mm-hmm. to see him fist some puppets. It's an ingrown hair on your dick, but powered and through. Well, side of your dick, not on your dick. You know, yeah. like it's good. You got to make sure you know which one it is. Like if on your dick is way worse than side of your dick, but. Oh, if it was on, I would hate myself. Easily. Right, no. It's powering through. It's uh, <laughs> it's being called radio in the locker room, but, <laughs> but powering through. Wait, what's the, I think the white version of radio is a stereo. <laughs> oh, my God. It's, a, <laughs> it's, a, it's, an, a, it's an AM stereo. Oh, That's no. Why they call me AM stereo. <laughs> this deformed looking uh, piece of technology. Yeah, uh, it's... <laughs> That's what being bent is about. It's about adversity, overcoming adversity. It's about overcoming mediocrity. You're not metaphorically a pocket quarterback. You're out of the pocket. Why? Because you're bent. You're already, when you hike the ball, out of the pocket. Ow. (laughs) (laughs) It hurts so uh, Was it the hair or was that the... Hair. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Trust me. It's waiting for a. It's waiting for an ingrow hair to pop. Oh. Right. That's that's being bent. That's probably the best one I've heard. Yeah. Relatable. Yeah. Relatable sellers, boys and girls. If you want to get popular, just be. I had to be autistic like me. <laughs> <laughs> Derek James at lol underscore Derek D E R E K. Is that you, Malik, or is that is that Ben's cell phone? <laughs> that was Wyatt's phone. It's okay though. Oh, uh, okay. It was good. It's all right. My Instagram's not important. Oh, well, okay. Then anyways, just, yeah, just go to a comedy show. You'll find Derek James somewhere. No, I'll, but plug it. Anyways. <laughs> LOL, underscore, D-E-R-E-K, Derek, 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 underscore James, J-A-M-E-S. Great comedian, obviously. You look at people from Indiana. You got Jeff Bibber. You got Ben. You got Joe. You got Liam Panero. Now you got Derek. And I hope, oh, Brandon Sorrell, too. Shout out BT. He's fucking hilarious, yeah. too. A lot of indie, funny Indianapolis people here. I'm proud to have Derek on my show. And hopefully... Get him at least eight more followers. Give me some followers. Yeah, give yeah. me eight. I will accept. Mine's set on private right now, which is not... Uh, a, yeah, but... Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. If I like you, I'll accept you. I'll accept anybody. There you go. Yeah. Even Jamarcus Russell? Uh, even Jamarcus Russell. Even Ashton. I wouldn't accept that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> that boy bet. Episode 41. Thanks for having me. Peace out. Damn, it broke him already. Well, I hit that ingrown hair and just pop it. Jesus Christ. What about him? <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> I don't know, that's their car. <laughs> hey, is that boy bent?